Isaiah, it's the second game in a row that it seems like Devin and some of the guards have been able to get to the rim at the end of the game. Um, how much do you think the screens that you and Jack set kind of open things up late? Um, I think it's a, um, a group effort, I guess. They have to come off our shoulders tight. And, you know, they're moving a lot during the games, and I know it's easy to get tired. So it's just a, a mix of them doing that and then, you know, us trying to get a piece of the, the defender running off. So, uh, yeah, group effort. Isaiah, to, uh, on senior day, to kind of close it out with a shot clock violation there, kind of, does that make it a little bit extra special given the culture here? Yeah, I just, we just didn't want to lose, you know? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, it's especially not like that, so I just tried to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Isaiah, what, what went through, was going through your head when you're shooting those free throws at the end? Uh, pretty, pretty big free throws. Uh, I was telling myself to make them. Or I was talking to myself. When I talk to myself, I make them. So y'all remind me to do that later on or something. <laughs> Isaiah, you also looked very emotional when the team gathered at midcourt and you were embracing at least I saw Ron Sanchez and then some of your teammates. Just can you describe what was going through your mind knowing that this will be your last time in this building? Uh, it's just it's special. It's been a really special time for me here. And, you know, I, I love all these guys. Um, it's just been, you know, a great four years, um, and this is a great way to, to go out. I was really happy with it, and yeah. Jeff and Aaron. Ty, uh, Thank uh, Kyle. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle seemed obviously kind of upset about the turn of events, getting hurt. How how is he doing? I think he's yeah. good. Um, he was with uh, Ethan and our, our doctors, and they're looking at him right now, so I didn't get to see him, but uh, I think he's good. It was a good time to be able to come back in the game. Ty, I mean, you guys go from unranked to number one. You protect your number one ranking. You win at Duke. You have what happened on Thursday. You win here. Uh, I know you got more to do, but I mean, when you just reflect on this, on this as a whole, can you articulate what what this has been like and and what your feelings are about all you guys have accomplished to this point? I mean, we don't play till Thursday, so we'll probably have you know tonight and tomorrow to really reflect on the regular season and how uh, how amazing it was, and just really be thankful for it. Um, our fans, every home game, they're amazing. Um, it's a huge thank you to them. Um, this team, I mean, we just don't, didn't give up all year um, on the road in tough environments. And um, it was a great, great, great regular season. Um, and we need to carry this momentum forward going into the most important time of the year. At the, uh, at the end of the game, after the game at the midcourt huddle, what did Coach uh, uh, Bennett say and what were you guys saying to each other? I don't remember. Uh, he just said, uh, "Give thanks, give thanks to the fans. Um, you know, they've they've been here for us every home game. They've been amazing. And then uh, we just want to come out and give thanks one last time for the seniors and um, last home game of, of this year for us. So uh, I'm just really thankful for them. Uh, obviously, 28 and two is you know kind of special year and number one for the first time in 35 years. Um, now that that's the, the regular season's done. How do you guys kind of adjust or reset or whatever just going into these one and done situations? Um, you, you, I think we have to have like a full reset. You know, there's a chapter and they and they close, and you just got to be extra prepared, but you know, still still play free and things like that. I think that the way that we prepared up to this point um, has been good from the summertime until now. So it's just time to lock in. Just go out there. You can't be tight. Play free, but you know. You got to give a little bit more. At this point of the year, everybody's playing good ball. So, just to add to that, I think it's important just not to overcomplicate things. Um, we've been working all year, trying to get better every year, and we just keep doing that. Um, we control everything we can control. Keep trying to get better, and keep just keep keep knocking one game at a time. Mike, this back-to-back -back games that were kind of tight, like a tournament game would be, and you guys were able to get ahead at least at the end, drive into the basket. Is that an element of this offense that you think is going to be important? ACCs and then NCAs? Oh, for sure. You know, the one game we took 59 threes, we lost, so. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah, talk about your uh, battles with Colson over his career and your career and, uh, and the challenge you face today. <laughs> no, I mean, he's a really, really good player, and he's one of my favorite ple people to play against if you guys were the same size. So. <laughs> Um, you know, he's really special offensively, and I'm trying to, you know, give him my all and get stops, but just kind of figured out that if I don't go back at him, he's going to have more energy. So just try to figure out, you know, little things um, 
and then go from there. It's been a fun four years with him, too, though. Any other questions for these guys? What? <laughs> Mike, then Paul. Okay. How good does it feel to be heading into Brooklyn and the ACC and being healthy and being yeah. a part of everything? Yeah, I feel good. I was I was nervous when my when I hurt my thumb. I was about to say no way, not not again, bro. But no, I, I feel good. My body feels good. I'm really thankful for that because um, I know if it, I know how that feels. So yeah, I mean, I'm fresh out here. Give me the ball. Come on, <laughs> let's go. I think we, we pride ourselves on taking, you know, every possession seriously, every game seriously. There's no, um, okay, we won the champ or the ACC regular season a couple of games ago, so now we just kind of walk through these things. That's not our mindset, and that will be disrespecting the game, um, in my opinion. So that's never a mindset that we had at any point since I've been here. I mean, it's the same thing that's been on stake all year, to be honest, getting better every game. Um, plus, uh, you know, we won the end of the season uh, number one in the country, and that was, that was at stake too. So. Uh, there's a, a few things at stake.